So check out how much this is filled up. The pond is looking good. Man, these cichlids, they behave like piranha, huh? When these guys are eating. Did she just go hide it on me? Oh, there they go. Dip, 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 dip. Take it easy. Look at this. She can drink right from there. And then all the leprechauns are just hanging out underneath Pinky's house. Hey, girl. What up? How do you not see this lizard and think he is not the ultimate monitor lizard, huh? Slinky, what's up, buddy? <clears throat> Yeah, what's going on everyone? Ken and uh, hanging out with you and hanging out in the backyard. Beautiful blue skies. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a little walk around today, chat with you guys, learn a little something. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennan. This week's shout out goes to longtime supporter, Emma C. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Right now, I just need to walk around and check on everybody. Um, let's get some food. I haven't fed the uh, cichlids yet. So let's just go ahead and do a little quick cichlid <coughs> feeding. I got my Aquascape aquatic pond food, the fish food that these guys make, love it. The fish seem to love it too. So uh, we're gonna just chuck it on in there. I've had like the cousins over, the kids' cousins have been over. It's been a lot of fun. The pond is looking great. All the lilies are growing and man, these cichlids, they behave like piranha, huh? When these guys are eating, but everything's going well. There are right there, the Malawi eye biters. They're doing very well here in the pond. I'll tell you what, let's go underwater and I'll show you what's happening. Here you go. Should be working now all these are new lilies and they have just really taken off so why I, I like the lilies is because it creates a buffer it creates a nice shade on the surface of the water so that the Sun just doesn't beat down on all of the pond and you don't get any of these algae blooms so it's a really really cool uh, plant they're of course helping remove uh, toxins from the water and oh there's a little gambusia so things are really just man it is now once once the rainy season starts here in florida and the temperatures go up things start growing and uh it becomes a lot of work just keeping things uh you know trimmed back and so on but look at these ferns growing out of the crevices everything's just really popping right now the other cool thing is we'll get over there i'll show you that the ponds are doing extremely well too so here i just quickly fed the blue iguanas earlier I gave them a couple of pellets and I'm going to now remove some of them because these guys seem like they aren't interested and I don't like those ants. Those are actually fire ants, but uh, where is she? Did she just go hiding on me? Oh, there they go. Dip, 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 dip. Take it easy. That's my gal. And then there's the male. These are very beautiful, but they are still, uh, these guys are definitely uh, flighty. That being said, they're beautiful and I love them. So, I just like to visit with everyone, man. This is the fun part of the day, is just walking around and checking on everything, and making sure everyone's doing well. There's the pond in the back that has filled up. Let's go check on Peter and Colin. All right, there they are. So check out their habitat. I love that these snakes are now in an outdoor habitat and it's doing well. We have a nice shed right there. And then the both of them are hanging out up here. What's up, guys? What you guys doing? Hey, there's Carl. And then Peter, she's in here somewhere. There's her little face. Hey there, darling. So I'm just giving him a little pet. These guys are gonna be eating uh, in a little while. I'm thawing out some rodents for the snakes today. So they'll be getting some rodents here in a little while. Oh boy. She's looking like she's in snake strike mode, but they're doing really well. It's uh, it's about 12.30 in the afternoon when I'm re recording this, so it's extremely hot. But uh, that being said, they're just chilling out. There's the big soft shell. 
oh gosh the soft shell just went down wow so check out how much this is filled up the pond is looking good i love when the pond is full very very good deal uh all right let's get walking let's go check on the sulcatas we're going to do a reverse loop today i like to show you guys what my day-to-day -day is like um this is part of keeping a large group of animals you want to make sure everyone's moving about you want to make sure everyone's happy and they're behaving the way they should all right there's brutus there's lumpy and the females are all hanging out there's my old gal hey there young lady what's going on hey lumps how you doing man oh i love this tortoise i just love the way some of the sulcatas whatever locale and i'm not sure what locale it is but some of the males get these really nice flared marginals uh on them and it is really impressive to see some of the females too this is my larger female but you can see the difference between her and then of course lumpy how flared out he is but if we go and chase down brutus over here you'll see that his are well they're not quite as flared hey brutus there he is what's up buddy say hello to everyone he's gonna get right up close give you guys a little sniff and make sure you guys are smelling good today oh how about a little little view of that tongue what are you gonna do buddy why are you trying to eat everyone oh by the way look at these mosquitoes they're actually getting blood from between the scoots they can get their little noses in and they can actually suck blood and i mentioned in another video not too long ago how some of the tortoises will throw mud up on their backs and i believe they do that to dissuade the mosquitoes or to create a barrier so the mosquitoes can't get in there because they can feel through their shells their shells have nerve endings there's a living part of the tortoise it grows with the tortoise it's not like um you know like a hermit crab that has to leave a shell and find another one as it grows these are living parts of their body it's part of their skeletal system so they grow and uh you know there's blood in there there's nerve endings in there it feels it is protection and it is armor but it's armor that's pretty intuitive because it has nerve endings and it lets them know if they need to move out of danger uh and so there you have it another cool thing going on here you'll notice we have mangoes right now it's mango season and the mangoes are ready to be harvested but more importantly some of the mangoes drop down here and look who's waiting for them it's really cool because the malaysian box turtles uh come out every afternoon and they find the mangoes that have become uh soft and they just go to town on them and so do my radiated tortoises the radiateds have been moved back in here uh the grass has grown back i'm really happy about that i put a bunch of seed out so the grass is back these guys are back at it in their natural or their kind of their permanent home so they're doing well it's going to be an awesome summer nice and hot things are growing nicely uh, of course since i said it's the height of the of the sun they're going to be in the shade right now but let's go visit with some of the water turtles that i keep and a really cool thing i had my buddy maurice rodriguez show up here uh, a couple weeks ago and maurice oh, look look at how cool is that can you imagine walking out your front door and seeing a beautiful endangered radiated tortoise just relaxing in the shade it has always been a dream of mine to have this kind of home uh, to turn my home into something that the animals can just enjoy and then i enjoy the animals but anyway i was talking about my buddy maurice maurice is a good pal i've known him for many many years and um, he has some turtles and tortoises up in new jersey and he is an extremely knowledgeable guy when it comes to turtles and tortoises and anyway we were talking and it looks like i'm going to be getting a group of anamensis moremi's anamensis the vietnamese pond turtle and we're also going to be getting some geoclemmy's hamiltoni or the indian spotted turtle so right now we're looking at my pink belly side neck there's the albino oscar he's the last one the other guys passed away i don't know why uh, it was after cold snaps, so I think the cold snaps wound up killing uh, some of the other Oscars. But you can see he has no issues going head-to-head -head with these turtles, which they are the Batiger, the Batiger borneensis, 
and uh, they're just really everything is just so active right now because of the temperatures so these guys are pretty darn happy so this is the original aquascape ecosystem pond we got this nice stream right over there that modern design aquascaping john adams and his sons came over and they put it in and i love the way it looks uh just really completes the front yard but water quality is good the animals are healthy the mini pond is growing up it needs a little water it looks like let's put a little water this is why i walk around you guys get the hang and see what i gotta do let's see that should work about 10 minutes no problem we're gonna go shut that one off turn this one off and then i have to come over here just grab the hose i was cleaning out my drain line for my air conditioner but yeah see so the papyrus is growing if you guys remember that was next to nothing so the papyrus is growing i'm just going to fill this up we got a little spider in there he's doing his thing eating whatever is in there that's pretty cool i like it so uh yeah we're just going to let that fill up while i yap with you guys okay almost there almost there and then i just throw it in that what i'll do is when i switch this i've got a hose that runs all the way around the house and kind of puts water into the ponds and into pinky's enclosure stuff like that let's go see how my large tortoises are doing right now and then we'll stop back and head over to sophia's pond okay these guys got a little food earlier so it's always good to come back out. Oh, look at this. Hey guys, Nostradamus, Darwin, and Socrates. All right guys, you guys doing good? I know you guys had a nice little feed, so that's good. Love, uh, again, summertime, we, hey, what are you doing? All the tortoises, what do you want to do? You want, are you saying hello to everyone there? Or are you trying to bite us? What's going down? How funny, right? These guys are such characters all right there's socks i always get a little bit nervous because oh my god you're so big are you gonna squish socrates injuries can happen so i'm gonna back away and let them do the thing i don't want i don't want them getting squished so they get overexcited they think they're gonna get more food and that's not gonna happen because they've eaten enough today uh, again you can see what happens what's going on in the height of the the day cold-blooded animals they've got to get out of the sun look at this three radiated tortoises underneath this muley grass i just like to help them out good deal and then if you look over here in the cactus there's yet another one and another spider can you guys see the spider that sat down beside her ha <laughs> ha she's eating her curds and whey i love it dad jokes all over man it's so funny i got these stepkids now i'm corny i've become a corny dad it's a lot of fun though you just got to roll with it. You know, you just got to let it flow. Uh, in the meantime, speaking of flowing, this is Sophia's Pond <clears throat> and it is looking perfect. I love it. Uh, in the afternoon, there's a Malaysian box turtle that loves to hide and hang out in this cool, cool little bubbling brook that the guys have created for me. And then again, what I love the most about this are the plant life, is the plant life that just pops right out of these rocks that we planted, I mean, that we placed all these rocks. Um, it's pretty cool. So this pond doesn't have a lot of fish in it. Uh, I was supposed to get fish for it, but again, I wound up putting the koi and those Malawi eye biters in the big pond. But um, yes, there are, there is a little tiny, there's two small Asian pond turtles, giant Asian, excuse me, giant Asian wood turtles, Hyosemis grandis. They wander back and forth. Oh, by the way, see, there's the water flowing in. Uh, it comes on the timer, but I'm going ahead and just letting things roll. So that's pretty neat. All right. Now, something you should know. Um, look at this. When it comes to leopard tortoises, leopard tortoises, uh, even though these two are kind of hanging out in the shade right now, I find that leopard tortoises are active longer into the day rather than being crepuscular meaning they're active at you know dusk and dawn uh, these guys will wander around during the day they're truly diurnal but again right now we're probably about 92 degrees it's got to be a little bit hotter of course on that sand but these are the south african leopards they're doing so well 
Um, really love these two, and it was so awesome when I found out that I was getting a pair of uh, South African leopards. Again, see the water flowing? That's all from that spigot that I turned on. And what's neat is, again, even though the leprechauders, look at this, she can drink right from there. And then all the leprechauders are just hanging out underneath Pinky's house. And uh, it's nice and shady. But I really love these guys. They've turned out to be uh, a lot of fun and a very interesting species. Well, hybrid rather. Uh, very beautiful, very inquisitive, and uh, I like them a lot. So pretty excited. Hey, speak of the devil, look at who it is. Hey girl, what up? She's moving about right now and she's gonna get fed here in a little while. So pretty stoked on that. And you can see the water flows kicks up all the muck, it filters out, and uh, I just let it run through, so good times. All right, we're making our way around. You see, I did have a little food out for these guys. You're going that way. Here are all the snow leopards. Uh, love them, doing really well. All the uh, redfoots are actually hiding out. Oh, look, that's all you're gonna see. It's almost done. I cannot wait to put the snake in there. Uh, but here's Lego. Uh, so all these guys, everyone's doing really well. It's, it's kind of cool to show you guys what happens at the height of the afternoon. Again, these animals, they find their, they go into a uh, place that's shady just to make sure that they're not overheating. Let's go see Lagatha. Laggy Lulu. She and I have been doing well. Um, we're going to be finishing this soon because I'm waiting on the new gauge or the heavier gauge wire to come out of England from our friends at Knitwire. And there's Laggy's cage. And let's go visit with her and I'll show you some of the progress we've been making. Now, as you know, she's definitely calmed down quite a bit. And uh, it's because I try and just be chill with her. So here she is. Let's see what kind of mood she's in. Hey, sweetheart, I'm just gonna come right over here so you can see exactly where I am and where she is. Um, you know, she's always, you know, she's always wary and she keeps that good eye on us. But here she is and it smells like a poopies or something. Something really stinks. Uh, I don't know where that's from. Hmm, I'm gonna have to come back and check. I could probably stand to uh, go ahead and get her water cleaned out while I'm at it here and turn on their hose. So I did this very simple, right? I didn't do quite a, uh, oh God, it's heavy. I didn't do quite an elaborate design. When it comes to this, I just made it simple. Simple is good. We have some ants here as well so i'll be into that so we just dumped that out and then on our little trek we're gonna turn on the water all right let's see little shed oh hey girl like i was saying i just wanted to say hello to you and show everyone that you're really being a good girl and allowing us to get close to you right so there's no puffing up she's chilled out now she will not let me touch her but that's going to be on her own there you go that's where it gets a little bit too close for her. so i'm about you guys are only about maybe a foot away from her right now so she is just hanging out and uh i love her this is a really beautiful animal so i'm very uh excited that she's part of the camp part of the family all right girl we're gonna let you go okay all right we're gonna leave her to her own relaxation and push on out okay so all is good here i gotta mow this lawn but i can't because it's so muddy so you gotta wait until it dries off a little bit so it's the second day without some rain which is nice these guys are doing well they got some food earlier they're hiding though. I saw them earlier. They're doing their thing. I can't wait till I can move these cages and kind of place them in strategic areas of the camp uh, so that 
it looks better, you know, because that one section needs to be dealt with. This is going to get torn down. Um, you know, I'm kind of, a, uh, what do you call it? Stockpiling some supplies for the uh, fencing I need for the gator pond, which is right over there. Uh, but one thing at a time, man, it's so much work. There's so much going on. All right, baby rhinos doing good. They ate earlier. There's Leon. Okay, and then we've got the baby snow leopards. Now, how about this? This guy looks like he's climbing on top of that cork bark. And he is. These guys got a little feed earlier. Whew, okay, it's warm. Sure is warm. Uh, rhinos, what's up, Petro? He's doing well. Oh, look at this guy. I mean, how do you, how do you not see this lizard and think he is not the ultimate monitor lizard, huh? Slinky, what's up, buddy? Come hang out with everyone. Say hello. I know you want to go out. He's probably looking forward to going out and uh, having a walk about the pond. He loves it now. I let him kind of go out and sometimes I'll throw up an Instagram live and I'll bring Slinky out. And we can all just kind of watch him do his thing. He is the ultimate. Oh, he's clumsy. Not, not the most graceful, is he? But I do love him. And again, this is kind of the fun part of having these animals, right? It's not really uh, always about building things or getting new animals. It's like, hey, let's learn about the animals we already have. Let's spend a lot of time with them so that we can learn each other, trust each other. And uh, I can give you guys good information about them, you know? It, the best way to learn is just to sit and spend time with your animals. So um, a lot of you guys were asking, that's just my hand, a lot of you guys were asking in the last video I mentioned that I had fed him a rattlesnake. Um, now depending on how Tom puts together the berm build, um, he may incorporate that uh, into it or he might get a wild hair and incorporate it into this video. I don't know what Tom's going to do. But while I was building the Burmese Python enclosure, I got a phone call while I was at Home Depot. And um, what had happened was my neighbor uh, had a rattlesnake in their backyard, the two ladies that live behind me. So I hustled home and I, unfortunately, when I got to their place, I got there too late. The rattlesnake had gone into my neighbor Bob's yard and Bob did wind up killing the rattlesnake. He shot it. But here's the sad part of the story. Uh, his dogs were all around the snake and um, one of his dogs was bitten and did die. Uh, Molly did die, one of his little pups. Um, she just got too close to the rattlesnake and died. I was very sad that I couldn't get to where I needed to go and um, or I couldn't get there sooner because had I was had I been able or had I been home I could have jumped right over but I was getting supplies for the Burmese Python build and um, it took me a while to get home and if I got home that snake would have been alive and the dog would have been alive uh, unfortunately the snake was killed so what I did was I removed the head and I fed the body to Slinky and for uh, a good five or six days slinky was extremely fat um it was incredible footage i have a uh, time lapse of him eating the snake because uh, it took a while um, but he did eat the snake and uh man i was i figured that was the best thing to do um to use the biomass of the snake to enrich and feed uh slinky rather than just let the snake die for no reason um so there's look at her she's she's hanging out in her food dish hello she's looking nice and chunky what a good looking lady how you doing there young lady and then of course the most regal lizard i have hello my friend you gonna give me a lick come here i love this lizard yes i love you man this is a cool lizard this is my boy. I love these two. I've had uh, Lola and uh, Guapo for so long now, since August of 2004. Can you believe that? Since 2004, these guys have been with me. And uh, there goes a mango. Just fell down. Luckily, it didn't land on a tortoise. Good thing they had shells. So this is really nice and hot. He's on it. The, the Cyclora really need to bask a lot 
to get those uh, those temperatures up in their body so they could properly digest their food. Um, their hindgut fermenters, and they really need uh, that bacteria in that hindgut to be nice and warm so that they're able to break down all the cellulose inside the food that they eat. So looking just awesome, just awesome. It's the relaxing part of the day. And uh, the Hog Islands know what's up. They're relaxed too. Now, every time I open this, they perk up. So they may think it's uh, something to eat right here and I don't want to get struck at. But look at these Hog Islands. They are so beautiful. Look at her. What a good looking snake are you, huh? Are you a good looking snake? Yes, you are. So these two are doing well. They're going to get fed here a little bit later this afternoon. And um, it's awesome. What else do we got? We got the... Timor pythons. There they are. Hello, Mr. Timor. Oh, look at that. A little shed action going on. Very cool. And then one of them is up here. Hiding out and about. And finally, we have the blackhead python, which is just, just so happens, the blackhead is in here. I wonder what's going on. Maybe if I do that, can you guys see? Yeah, I think he's in there. I'm gonna just trust it. So there's the blackhead. Good times, good times. What's going on behind me? Are you coming up? You gonna come, you gonna come get a ride on my uh, shoulder, bud? Is that what you wanna do? I don't mind. I'm down, buddy. Come here, you wanna come up on here? You can come up on here. Oh man, so it's always a good time with these lizards, man. Um, again, spend time with your animals. Get involved, get a, get to hang out with them. Uh, <laughs> I love when he just licks and hangs out on me. We got the elongated tortoises behind me. Um, I've got a lot of work to continue to do. I just want to make sure that while I'm working, hey buddy, while I'm working, um, I have content for you guys to enjoy. So enjoy this little tour. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I've got to get back and do some things now to finish up the uh, Burmese python cage. I just wanted to make sure all these guys were good after they got fed this morning. I ran around and did some did some errands so I can complete the build today. And uh, man, I just want you guys to have a nice Sunday video, all right? So I hope you guys enjoy it. This is uh, always a lot of fun to spend time with you guys and my animals and show you how I do things here. There's always so much going on and uh, I can't wait until I can get back out and travel around and show you guys some other people that are doing amazing things with these animals as well. But as you know, the lockdowns and the social distancing kind of has us all a little bit cooped up. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. And thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna get back to work now and I leave you with a, uh, with a smile. See you later.